Next. Oh. Here he comes. Is the guy Scottish? <clears throat> I think so, yeah. Hi, your name is? Uh, Ronald Villiers. Okay, and you're with? I'm just I'm just here myself. Well, what agency are you oh, with? Oh, right, eh, uh, where they come and pump. Okay, uh, this is Rick. Hello there, Rick, how are, how are you? I'm Rick Produced Next Generation. Oh. Uh, Deep Space Nine. <laughs> right. And uh, Voyager. Oh, that's lovely. That must keep you right busy and all that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very, very busy. OK, um, we're casting in Scotland for the new Star Trek film. Right. And uh, basically the part you'll be reading for is Communications Officer Scanlan. Yeah, right. Um, we want to try and keep the spirit of the original movie. Oh, aye. So the, the fans are screaming out for a Scottish character. Aye, like Scotty or something like that. Yes, like Scotty. And a loads of physics captain. That's right. And, oh, the dilithium crystals and that. All that. Uh -huh. Um, I'll just set the scene for you then. Captain Picard is right, well, sitting... Captain Picard, I like him. He's that distinguished, isn't he, with his big baldy head and all that. <laughs> Make it so... OK. The, the bit we want you to do right. is... Earl um... Grey hot. That's a, I don't like it myself. It's a nice wee touch set enough. My man, he drinks it. It tastes like potpourri. I mean, I don't... Really <laughs> like it. Just, just listen to it. OK. So the situation is the, uh, the Borg has appeared off the starboard bow. Right. And Picard asks you for a status report. That's it, right. So, oh, right. Rick will read in Picard's lines. Right. Officer Scanlan, status report. All right, me. Eh, as the Borg went a word with you, Captain. <laughs> okay. Um, Borg went a word with you. It's okay. Uh, we don't have a script for this, Ronald. So, um, basically, because it's been kept under wraps, ah, it's a big we want secret. you to just. That's it. Uh, we want you to just uh, improvise. Right. Say something what? like, for instance, um, the Borg are Borg hailing are us. Hailing us. Hailing us oh, in all, all frequencies. frequencies Captain That's... Picard. Yeah, something Officer like that. Scanlan, status report. That's the Borg on the phone for you, Cap. Cap. <laughs> Cap. Okay, you hold it there. Deep space, um, no phones. The 24th oh, century. That's right, there's no idea. You never see them on the phone. <laughs> right. Officer Scanlan, status report. That's the Borg on the big screen for you, Captain. <laughs> they, they never phoned or nothing. They just appeared <laughs> on the word. Just close the door on your way out. Mm -hmm. Well, live a long time and prosper then. <laughs> Engage. <laughs> I can date Chewbacca. Oh! <laughs> Who is he with? Where'd he come in, pump? Make a note of that. Uh... It's a rare drying day. That's a lovely washing you've got out. Hi, hi, it is. Mind you. It's a good job. He's at that age, he's... He's just started masturbating. <laughs> a killer stood above her bashed and broken body, searching for a glimmer of light. When he reached down and touched her shoulder, he felt a... Gonna be no day that. How? Oh. Just gonna know. <laughs> Wasn't he into that mad ping pong pattern, by the way? No, nah, man, your ping pong was pinging all over the shop there. No chance of your gold, you know what I mean? I see I go at the shooting, but. <laughs> Target and win a prize. Up you come now. One shot wins the prize. Come on up. Hi, man. Hi, man. Oh, hey, oh, man. Uh, uh, crossbow. <laughs> He's absolutely <laughs> top, man. Beautiful. He's a gonk, yeah, dopper. <laughs> right. Now, open your books at the page. Well, you know what page it is today, because it's for doing. 
reproduction today, right? Now, have a look at the... On there, there's a flower, a female flower, right? You see it. Next to that, there's a male flower with a stamen. And the, um... That, and that's really all there is. Miss? Yes? What's a vagina? <laughs> you can ask those type of questions, Kenneth, when you start bringing a decent bag to school. Ridiculous. <laughs> no. Turn the page over. And there is the picture of a man's... You can see it in front of you. Big. Just draw that picture, right? Draw it. Draw it. The picture of the penis, miss? Yes, that... that yeah. Yes, just draw that. Draw it. Miss? Yes, Kenneth? Do you have any purple crayons? Yes, I do. Uh, that <laughs> Right, so that's enough of that. <laughs> Got some gold Italian sandals just in. If you... Oh, they're lovely. Aren't they? Yeah, that was real. Yeah, you this? If you're going to break a heart, oh. be sure to break oh. a fat girl's heart. They're bigger, much bigger. <laughs> if you're going to ruin someone's life, be sure they're not a scale. <laughs> Skinny girls are fine, but when you dump them, they just run and find another. <laughs> but when you crush a chubby's heart, she remains with all the fatties on the shelf. That shelf is creaky. She remains <laughs> with all the fatties. <laughs> so this is the office and this will be your desk. Thanks. This seems like a good place to work. <laughs> well, yes and no. You haven't met the boss yet, have you? No, I haven't. What's he like? Well, how can I put this? He's uh, slightly deluded. He thinks he can make himself invisible. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I know. That's invisible boss coming. Right. Whatever you do, just pretend you don't see him, OK? I don't think I can do this. Yeah, you can. Just have a normal conversation. <clears throat> so, at uh, around about 10 o'clock, we gather at the kitchen with a cup of coffee and a chat, you know? Oh, uh, that sounds good. Oh, wow, Lisa, look, your bag's floating in midair. Oh, wow. How's it doing that? That's amazing. Oh, I think I can hear the boss coming. You like him. <laughs> Thanks. It's OK, it happens all the time. Uh, hello there. I'm Alan Davidson. Nice How are you? I thought I'd pop down and say hello before you get started, you know. I'm very busy at the moment myself, you know, so you won't see an awful lot of me. Oh, all right. That's nice, thanks. OK, carry on. So your stapler's levitating. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> oh, here, mate. Uh, sorry, the uh, public toilet's out of order there, and uh, could I? Uh, I know it's, I know it's cheeky, oh, man. No, it's okay. Here's your loot. Thanks, Thanks, sir. I really appreciate this. Uh, no problem. It's a 99 and a bottle iron brew. You should be pal wanting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ma non è squarci a fare. Should we do that more? Aye, aye. You got that Glen Eagles doing Saturday? Uh-huh. Any good? Oh. Hello, champagne, ice sculptures, oh. smoked salmon. <laughs> you want to see my fan dan? Fan dan. Fan dancer. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Fan dan. Woohoo! Fan dan! Keep coming, fan dan! Fan dan! That's it, keep coming. Where have you been, fan dan? Dare see, fan dan. I get you a tea and a coffee, fan dan, or a soft drink. Fan dan. <laughs> <laughs> do you love it or do you love it? A genuine Rennie Macintosh tea strainer, if you will. Oh, Gary, it's an utter dullion. Totally tosh. Oh, may we, James, and I trust you'll be coming round for your tea in the Glasky style. Does the Pope wear a mitre? <laughs> now, tell me, Gary, where'd you pick it up at some little antiques fair? Indeed, I did not, James. I picked it up doing the barrels. Oh, the barrels. Well, it was tagged at £90, but I managed to haggle the stall holder down to 85 Well, that's the beauty of the barrels. And he threw in an anthology of Robbie Burns' love poetry. Oh, I love Robbie Burns. I thought, murder policeman, what a bargain. Oh, and the stall holder, a real Glasgow man. A Glasgow ticket. Absolutely, full of the banter. In fact, as he rapped him, he looked me straight in the eye and said, I saw you coming. Oh, the Glasgow banter doing the barrels. <laughs> oh, here we go. Richard White is introducing the guests. I love Countdown. <laughs> you two are getting beat today. Can you not just enjoy the game, Harry? The game isn't about enjoyment, Linda. It's the competition that's so engaging. Ooh, engaging. Good word, Harry. Eight letters. Right, here we go. B, M, I, X, <sighs> R, E, I, N. Another N. They're tough letters. Tough for some, Linda. Tough for some. Man, these letters. Linda, please, go on and no read out the letters as they come out. We can all see them, eh? There's not any blind people in here. Not that I can see. Can you judge? Play the game, Harry. Right, how many have you got? I've got eight. How <laughs> many have you got? My words are better. It's... Good, good. Can you try and contain yourself and not blurt it out so that George can tell me how many he's got? Carry on, George. Same. Eight. All oh, right. So what's your word? My word's Ren Minby. Will you clam up for just... <laughs> hey, Ren Minby. What in the name of hell's Ren Minby? Get lost, you're not getting that. That's uh, what I've got. Hey. All oh, right. Well, what does it mean then, Linda, Ren Minby? Well, it means the... Uh... Hey, George. George, if you don't mind, just for a wee second. I know you know what it means. Right, Linda, what does Ren Minby mean? Well, I don't know what it means, but I've definitely heard it being used. It's a word. All right, you don't know what it means. Well, that's not exactly good enough, is it? You need to know what the word means. Uh, no, you don't, Harry, uh, as long as it's in the dictionary. Wonder what kind of world it would be if we just went wandering about, eh? Uttering words we didn't know the meaning of. A fairly foolish world, wouldn't it, Linda, eh? Where's my dinky-doo? Oh, it's in the rumbly-bumbly. Oh, by the way, what is a dinky-doo? Oh, I'm not sure, but I know it's a word. Exactly, no points. Renminbi is the currency of the old Republic of China. That's it, Chinese money. Well, that's right, Chinese money. Look at you hoovering that off of George there, eh? <laughs> Taking it as your own, passing it off as your own information. It is a word. Well, fine, you both have eight points. Fine. <clears throat> what was your word, Harry? Bin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right, a receptacle for refuse. Here, receptacle's a great word, Dave. Oh, aye, aye. oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Voila! 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 Ooh, can ogle. Alla voila, a can ogle. Sandcastle! 
Mm-hmm. Voila, who else can ogle? Else can ogle. But! Voila, tell a splashy popa popa usibat. Voila, sha. Package? Voila, sha isha. Voila, sha isha package. Voila, isha. Hush! Hush! She'll have both a cannabis resin! Voila, Hishima. Voila, Polis? Voila, Isha, Fona, Polis! Voila, Isha, Fona, Tatum! Vier goulash! Gosh, I'll go! Rizla! Rizla! Voila! I seem to have tripped. There must be a loose tile. We'll get that loose tile sorted then. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> oh, look, a floating spoon. <laughs> I'm such a clumsy eater. <laughs> High drama at Kirkcaldy Sheriff Court today as Joseph Gallagher of the notorious Gallagher family was sentenced. 16-year-old Gallagher denied all charges but one, admitting to panning in the video shop Wendy in order to procure the film Pigs in Knickers 4. In light of Gallagher's age, Judge Archibald Sine was forced to pass down a sentence of 80 hours community service. The verdict was greeted with jeers from the gallery, in response to which Gallagher's mother became aggressive and punched the courtroom artist. The job of acting sketch artist was taken up by PC Jock McCulloch of Leaving Division. Glenda Gallagher then made a provocative gesture by standing on the defence table and beckoning towards the gallery, Moan then! <laughs> The presiding judge Archibald Syme appealed for a calm and competent sketch artist to be in place tomorrow when the case against Mrs Gallagher will start. Jeremy Black, Kirkcaldy Sheriff Court. Number oh, two! Oh, oh. Number two! Oh, oh. Number, number two. two! Come on, Gary, number, number two. two! All right, Charlie, Charlie, use the space! Use the space. space! Come here, Charlie! Yeah, why not, for God's sake? Come here! What's the matter with you? Come on! Remember here! Get your flag up, please! Get your flag up! Get your flag up! minutes about the Americans in Glasgow, Betty. Your thoughts, memories, happier otherwise. Oh, aye. Is that thing running, son? We running? Yes. Right. OK, Betty, it's 1943. The Americans have descended on Glasgow. How did they fit in? Oh, they fitted in very well. <laughs> see, the only experience we had of the Americans was going to the pictures and seeing Humphrey Bogart and Jimmy Cagney and that. I mean, we were fascinated with them. Big, good-looking boys, so they were. But a lot of folk weren't happy with the Yanks being here cos your boys were away fighting. And there was us who took the dancing with them all the time. 
I mean, me and my pal Rose were never after them. Because they had money, you know, and they could buy you a drink and show you a good time. And anyway, what was I meant to be doing? I mean, my Charlie had been away for three years and I was absolutely ganting for it. Stop, stop, stop it, um, <laughs> Betty, um, it's a tea-time show, uh, you know, fond recollections. Uh, maybe not use that word. Yanks. Ganting. Oh, sorry, son, right, yeah. Right, off you go. Right, well, see, you couldn't get nylons. You, you had to draw a line up the back of your legs so they looked like nylons. But you could get nylons off the Yanks and money. You could get money off them and all the money for things. <laughs> Can you say that, Betty? Just keep it light, please. Um, light, happy memories. But they were happy memories. I mean, that's the thing. Even though there was a war on you, you had to make light of it. You had to see the funny side. It's all right. We just have to watch what we transmit. Sorry, son. So, Betty, there was a funny side to it all, wasn't there? Aye. And the funny thing was, there was my Charlie away into Brook fighting for king and country, and there's me and Rose round the back of the barrel lands where skirts round our necks getting pumped rotten. Thirty <laughs> cows he used to quiz, but we weren't caring. That's, that's, that's the end of the interview, thanks, Betty. The Americans were hung like duck. That's <laughs> enough, thank you very much, Betty. Fish and chips. Uh, I'll have pie and beans. <laughs> beans and beans and chips and chips. <laughs> That's a cracking word, isn't it? What is? Mm. <laughs> means no a word, you did It means and. Oh, I know that, but it's quicker to say than and, isn't it? <laughs> That's a cracker, right enough. Wash and go. <laughs> Rock and roll. Park and ride. <laughs> Cheese and onion. Salt and vinegar. Shouting and balling. Pissing and farting. <laughs> Big hairy walloper. Mmm, <laughs> bossack. So far. <laughs> this Christmas, Soda Bread Records gift to you is Donald O'Daniel's My Best Pal Jesus, a beautiful collection of songs, all with a Jesus-y theme, including Judas Is No Friend Of Mine, Lot's Salty Wife, and the classic ballad, A Table For Twelve. Also featuring Roll Boulder and Stone Me. Stone Me, Stone Me. And who could forget I'm wearing Jesus sandals as a tribute to the boss. I'm wearing Jesus sandals as a tribute to the boss. And the toe tapper, hot cross bun, and everybody's favorite. It's not my face on the chewing track. Go on, soak your granny's knickers this Christmas with Donald O'Daniels, my best pal, Jesus. My tea. Uh, sorry, Victor. Here, I know what that'll be. Here, here. What is it, Jack? Plaster for my cowpain. Jimmy. 
Ah, that's a rare helmet you've got there, son. What kind of bike are you on? Susie 400. Susie 400? Ah, I used to love the bikes, ah. Used to cut about in the old Norton Dominator, you know what I mean? Ah, I mean the missus used to take it up way past I the... Aye, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Jack, what is that you've been buying? Oh, I got it off the internets. See, this is the way you want it, wrapped up in a brown paper. So nobody knows, you see, you're not allowed these in this country. <laughs> Manky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> This'll sort out these wee bastards across at the shops. What, a remote control for the telly? No, 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 no. The Electro Justice Sting Charger 2. Enjoy the freedom once more, no longer at the mercy of muggers, villains and rogues. Oh, <laughs> that's absolutely smashing. How does it work? Right, well, what happens is, say you're going out there, right, mm. and there they are, the wee bastards, right, and they say, right, give your pension book, right? Well, you just give them a wee nip of this. <laughs> on your way! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I've not a shot at myself. Let me see the thing. No, hold on a minute. Jack, go on and just. Oh, Jesus Christ, Victor, what have I done to you? Oh, 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 no. I've killed him, oh, Jesus. Get off me! Get off me, you bloody clown. What are you doing? Oh, you've come back, thank Christ. I thought I'd killed you. Jesus, Jack, what happened to me? Oh, this bloody thing. I didn't realise the voltage was so high. It's all right, it's all right. Oh. You wanted to know. Help oh. us up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, then. Oh. 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 That's a bloody lethal weapon, now. Are you all right? I am fine, I'm fine. There's no harm done. Ah, well, give that to me, cos I'm going to put it in the bin. All right. There you are. <laughs> Well, that's that, son. That's my Jim dead and buried now. You'll miss him, won't you, Mum? Oh, aye. Aye, I will. But, you know, in a way, he'll always be with me, thanks to the webcam I've installed in his coffin. <laughs> oh, I'll give my darling. Lisa, somebody must have left that window open. There's a terrible breeze blowing in. Where's my pen gone now? Oh, look, it's levitating. And look at that apple juice. It's, it's disappearing into thin air. Apple juice? That's not apple juice. That's my sample for the doctors. 